Hello everyone, welcome back to another episode of Skyrim. How are you guys doing today? Hope you're doing great. Uh, hope you guys didn't miss out on the live stream that I did for Subnautica yesterday. Uh, yeah, that would be the first kind of series made live stream. Super excited about that. If you missed that, go check that out. Uh, it's going to be in the playlist as well as under the live tab. And it should be showing up on the home page or the home section of the channel as well. So go check that out. Uh, also, just a reminder, if you want to help support this channel and continue, help me continue to provide better content, go check out my Patreon. The information about that is down in the description below. Uh, thank you to those that are supporting me. You guys are absolutely amazing. Uh, you are helping me. You, you are literally helping me make the streaming possible so if you also want to help um and and make me or help me be able to do this full time go check out my patreon i got a couple i got i got a handful of uh, different options that you can subscribe through and i i think you would um it, it ranges from low to to kind of high so you can choose whatever uh fits your fancy um but don't feel obligated i'm just if you have the ability to, uh, and, you, and, you, and you want to, those two things have to be true <laughs> in programming language. Um, go check that out. So I, I would really, really appreciate it. Um, speaking of streaming, I know I've been mentioning about streaming Skyrim. Uh, I'm going to do that, but it's gonna be a few days. I'm waiting for some equipment uh, from my internet provider, new modem, that I want first and configured and tested before I start streaming uh, Skyrim. So it's going to be a few days, unfortunately. I'm thinking Wednesday or Thursday I'm supposed to get the equipment, and so and I guess this would be... I'm recording this Sunday, so you're, you're seeing this on Monday. So think about maybe Saturday or Sunday next month or next week. We'll see. Um, I will let everybody know. I will put it in the community section. I will put it on the Discord. So if you, you haven't joined just Discord yet and you are on Discord, head on over there. Information about that is also down in, in the description below. Plus, I have an Amazon affiliate link if you want to help me out with that as well. Um, so last episode we jo uh, not joined, but we started the the Brotherhood quest, uh, the Dark Brotherhood quest, and with the friends like these. So, oh, I didn't want to select that. Um, I've killed one of the captives as a strayed uh, instructed, a strid, a strid. I think it's a strid. Sorry, not a strayed, a strid. In must now gain entrance to the Dark Brotherhood Sanctuary, which is located at the South Pine Forest. Uh, let's see here. So silence my brother is what Astrid said to me to uh, to get in there. So we just need to enter. Uh, where would that be? Yeah, we got we got kidnapped in the last episode. Way down here. Okay, before we go, though, before we go, I'm looking this way, and I see a, a ruin, or not a ruin, but a, um, an entrance to a dwarven ruin, I guess you'd say. Let's see if we can get there. I'd like to explore that, since I, I see it now on my map. Let's go check it out first. Then we'll we'll head that direction. Yep. I wonder if it's a entrance or exit to. Eh, maybe not. Now, some people have been saying that I could have been I I could have killed. Um. Sorry, I had a frog in my throat. Um, a strid, and that would have changed things a little bit differently. Well, 
maybe we'll do that in the next episode. Or not ex episode. Um, yeah, great lift. Huh. Okay, so it's for this location. So it's not open. Can't open it unless I go in and then up. Okay, so it's just another location to go in there. Okay. Um, but yeah, we'll do that in the next playthrough. I do plan on coming through with the next uh, another playthrough. But first, we're going to take a break from Skyrim. And when we come back... Well, so we're going to go and play Fallout 4 Mod It. Uh, I did put a... It was community voted. And everybody... You know, it, it got voted the most is Fallout 4 modded. I have played Fallout quite a bit, and I look forward to finishing the game. It's um, it's going to be kind of a story-driven game, more or less than just building. That's what end up what I do all the time. <laughs> just I don't I stop the story and I never finish it. That's why I've never finished it. So we're going to finish the story this time, um, and then after. Uh, we're done with Fallout 4. I'm going to be coming back with a, a Skyrim mod it series. I really look forward to that. We're probably going to be streaming that one um, quite a bit. Ooh, there's actually another... There's a couple places here. Okay, well, let's do this first. And we're going to have to remember to come back and go up. Oh, God, there's two. Oh, my God, there's two of them. Okay, okay. Um, oh my god. Look at this place. If... Yeah, if we get stumped, we can always come back and get those two. Or actually, those three. Alright, let's go in. What is the music of life? Hopefully it's not like a multiple choice. Silence. Oh, I can. I can. Um, the loot. No drums. Screaming. Some kind of choir with chanting. No. Silence, my brother. That's spooky. Okay, so we're we're all alone. This thing. Dude, that is... Ugh. Real quick. I've got to set my lantern here. Okay, we got a book. Looks like we can take everything if we want it to. The Night Mother's Truth. By Gaston Belfort. Although various works have been written on the subject of both Morrowind's Morg, uh, Morag Tongue, the Tamriel's more widespread Dark Brotherhood, there remains uh, confusion as per to precisely when and how these two feared assassins guilds formed or more speci specifically when and how the dark brotherhood split from the more tongue as the former is widely accepted to have sprung from the latter okay hold on <laughs> let me get this straight how the dark brotherhood split so okay morag tongue was the kind of the the assassins guild at the time and then the dark brotherhood Separate it from. Okay. Just got to get that straight in my head. The largest po uh, point of contention seems to be that the figures of the Night Mother, a woman whose figure prominently in both organizations, although extensive research and interviews, and not. Are there missing things? Women who. Woman who figures. Prominently, it just seems really weird how that's all the spacings are missing. Um, maybe it's just big words that they can't fit on that section of the page. Um, inconsiderable risk to my own life for the Dark Brotherhood holds this information sacred. I have finally solved this age-old mystery. 
I have finally uncovered the Night Mother's truth. Although her name has been lost to time, the Night Mother was once a mere mortal. A dark elf woman who lived in a small village once located where the city of Breville, or Breville stands now in the imperial province of Cyrdil. She was, she was a respected member of the Mor Morag Tongue, and like her fellow members, this woman made her trade as an assassin in service to the Daedric Prince Ophala. In fact, the woman held the title Night Mother, reserved for the highest ranking female member of the organization. To be Night Mother, a particular sect was to be that group's uh, matron. The favored of Mephela, both respected and feared. However, it was not Mofella who facilitated the transformation from the from woman to specter, but another, some would say, far deeper form of evil. This this the dark lord embodied of unending void. Following the potentate's assassination in 2E324, strife descended upon the Mora. Morag tongue, and the guild was all but eradicated in Cyrodiil, and much of the Empire. It was shortly after these events that Dunmore woman climbed to, her, to hear the voice of the Sith herself, or himself. The dread lord, she claimed, was displeased. He was unhappy with Morag tongue's lack of success. The void, he told her, was hungry for souls, and it was her destiny to set things right. And so, according to the Dark Brotherhood legend, Sithis, Sith, Sith, Sithis visited the Night Mother in her bedchamber and begat her five children. Two years passed before the unthinkable happened. The Dark Elf Woman followed through with the Dread Lord's ultimate plan one night she murdered her children and sent their souls straight to the void straight to their father holy crap when they learned of this affront of decency the people of the village rallied against the woman for such an act was considered incomprehensible even for the night mother of morag tongue in one night of vengeance they descended upon the woman, killing her and burning down the house in which the um, atrocity took place. And that was the end of the story, or so everyone thought. A little more than 30 years later, an unnamed man heard a strange, comforting voice inside his very head. Just as the Dunmore woman claimed to hear the voice of Sithis inside hers. The voice identified him herself as the Night Mother and named the man Listener, the first of many. And so the unholy matron set her servant on his path. He would found a new organization, a guild of assassins known as the Dark Brotherhood, in service not to Mephila, but the dreaded Lord Sithis, the Morag tongue, now surviving only in Morrowind, was an artifact of forgotten age. The Dark Brotherhood would marry, would with would marry business with death. The organization would grow in wealth and power, and the void would swell with fresh souls. It was the Night Mother told her listener, the perfect arrangement. In the early days of the Dark. Brotherhood, the bodies of the Night Mother and her children were recovered from the original burial site and, and intended uh, interred in the crypt beneath the site of her house. And, they, and there they remain even today. So if in your travels you find yourself in a city of Breville and make a wish to at the statue of Lucky Old Lady as in the local custom, know that you stand on sacred 
if evil, ground. You stand above the Night Mother, the unholy matron herself, and your lucky, and your luck has just run out. Wow. Okay, um, maybe we made the wrong decision of going <laughs> listening to um, a straight here. Looks like there's a pedestal. Ooh, route it. Hello. What do we have here? Those do 20% more damage. Sneaking 25% better. Production spells 15% le cost less. Double sneak attack with one handed weapons. Whoa. Wear is muffled and moves silently. And it weighs practically nothing. All of it. So we really carry this with us if we wanted to. Oh, jeez, old ball. Frickin'. <laughs> Was she standing there the whole time? Oh, my God. Scared the crap out of me. Jeez. Oh, oh, hello. 17. Oh. My, my hair is standing on edge right now. <laughs> Jeez. It's almost like Subnautica with jump scares. Yeah, last episode was good. Or, uh, the stream. It was... It was... Uh, I, I guess I shouldn't say it was good. Um... It was destructive. Ah, uh, at last. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I hope you found the place all right. Uh, so what happens now? Well, what happens now is you start your new life in the Dark Brotherhood. You're part of the family, after all. This, as you can see, is our sanctuary. You won't find a safer place in all of Skyrim. So get comfortable. I'm honored to be part. Uh, when do I get to kill someone? Remain silent. Mm. Gonna remain silent. Yes, the silence suits you. Gives you an air of mystery. Mm. Now, down to business. I'm arranging a job for you. But in the meantime, go talk to Nazir. He may have some smaller contracts to tide you over. Soon, the Night Mother will arrive. And things around here are sure to get even more interesting. Ah, but one last thing. A welcome home present. The armor of the Dark Brotherhood. May it serve you well in all your endeavors. Remain silent. So didn't we? We just got all those. Okay, so who is the Night Mother? The Unholy Matron, the Shrouded Lady, the Mistress of the Void. She goes by many names. Ages past. Sithis gave a woman five children. She killed them to win his favor, thus becoming the Night Mother. If you believe that sort of thing. Today, she's... well, she's a skeleton. An ancient corpse. But more importantly, a corpse that's being brought to this sanctuary by her keeper. Okay. So the Night Mother is being brought here. Yes. Oh. A few months ago, I received word from the Night Mother's Keeper that he had arrived in Skyrim from Cyrodiil. The Night Mother's Crypt in Breville was destroyed, a result of the chaos caused by the war with the Thalmor. That forced a relocation. I don't know where the Keeper has been these past few months, but I recently received another letter. He's bringing the Night Mother here. Soon. Okay. Uh, where did the con uh, the contracts come from? They used to come from the Night Mother. Potential clients would perform the Black Sacrament, and she would hear their prayers. The Night Mother would communicate this to the listener, who would then dispatch a speaker to arrange the contract with the client. But that was a long time ago. There hasn't been a listener in years. 
Not since Cyrodiil was overrun in the war with the Thalmor. But people don't know that, so they still perform the ritual. And we eventually hear about it. When someone wants us, we find out. Hmm. Uh, what if I get caught killing someone? Try not to. But I do realize it's sometimes not that easy. You may want to make a statement, or a contract may require a public killing. Murder is obviously a very serious crime, and a very high bounty will be put on your head in the hold where the act was committed. You can run, obviously, but you'll still have a price on your head. If a guard attacks, you can attempt to yield by sheathing your weapon. If the guard accepts, you can serve your time in a cell or pay your bounty. We've all gone through it. We do what we must to survive. But there is another option. Some members of the Thieves Guild in Riften can get their bounties mm -hmm. mm -hmm. for a yes. price. Something to think about. Okay. Uh, are there any rules that I should be aware of? Used to be the Dark Brotherhood was bound by five tenets, but we stopped following those years ago. All those rules, all that discipline, and look where the Dark Brotherhood ended up. We're the last of our kind, and we live the way we see fit. Bottom line, respect your family. Do that, and everything else will fall into place. Okay, so what can you tell me about yourself? This sanctuary has been my entire life since I was a young woman. That's when I first discovered my, shall we call it, aptitude for elimination. I had it's an one uncle, way to say it. He. <laughs> he made certain unwanted advances. So I killed him mm. and liked it. Whoa. Then I killed again and liked it even more. And so on. I was recruited by the Dark Brotherhood and have been here ever since. I met my husband, Armbjorn, rose to leadership, and now, here we are. Okay. What am I Be getting sure myself to introduce into? introduce yourself to your new family members. They're all very eager to meet you. I see. Okay, let's check out... Okay, so we did get something different. Maskless. Oh no, maybe we, did we get the shrouded hood? Oh no, here we go. So we have one with a cowl and one maskless. We have poison resist by 50. Backstab does double damage. Where is muffle? Yeah, okay. So basically the same things that we picked up, but just... They're not even marked as any clothing. The light armor and then nothing. Okay. Let's, uh... I'm afraid I don't have a primary contract for you yet. Okay. <laughs> again, again. Do the part where he tries to buy you some candy. Okay, okay, wait. Here we go. Oh, you're such a pretty little girl. Would the sweetie like a sweetie? Oh, yes. How about some chocolate? Oh, yes, please, kind sir. My mama and papa left me all alone, and I'm so very hungry. I know a shortcut to the candy shop through this alley. Oh, yeah, very good, very good. Mine's dark down here. Oh, but you're so beautiful. Such a lovely smile. Your teeth! No! <laughs> so bad, bad, but you are so wicked. What about you, Festus? How did that last contract turn out? Oh, yes, please, old man. Regale us with your tales of wizardry. Ah, oh, the young and stupid. Always mocking the experienced and brilliant. My contract went very well, I'll have you know. Tried a new spell. Little something I've been working on in my spare time. Came this close to turning that priest inside out. Damned messy. And what of your latest, Arnbjorn? Something about a Khajiit. Merchant, was it? Oh, a big doggy chasing a little kitty. 
How adorable. <laughs> <laughs> I am not adorable. It was not funny, and he wasn't a merchant. He was a Khajiit monk, a master of the Whispering Fang style. But now he's dead, and I have a new loincloth. <laughs> <laughs> oh, jeez. Okay. So we got some interesting people to talk to here. Might as well get our shout here. Suffer marked for death. Marked for deaths. At your voice, Herald Doom as an opponent armor and life force are weakened. We have two more left. Two! Severed head I find most impressive. My compliments. Let that be a lesson to you. Okay, so we got several people to talk to here. Let's start with Nazir here. So you're the newest member of our dwindling, dysfunctional little family. Now he's a red guard, isn't he? Quite a bit about you. Uh, yeah. Remain silent. Oh, we should just do remain silent for everybody. Uh, that might just... <sighs> hmm. I, I kind of want to, but at the same time, I'm thinking we might miss some dialogue. So, uh, we'll say that you will hear even more, I assure you. Ooh, cocky. I give you three days before you screw up and someone runs a knife across your throat. But who knows? I've been proven wrong before. Uh, Strid said you have some work for me. Did she now? Well, as it turns out, there are a few lingering contracts we haven't had the chance to complete just yet. And more. Dribbling in from time to time. I'll assign them to you as they become available to be completed at your leisure. Okay, sounds simple enough. It is. These aren't particularly glamorous assassinations, I'll be honest. Don't pay much either. But they'll keep you busy. Just do them as you're able. There's no real time limit. The targets aren't going anywhere. You can turn each one in as it's completed, or wait and turn in the whole group when all the targets have been eliminated. Whichever works for you. Oh, that's nice. Oh, I can use some training and some light armor? Um, let's do it anyhow. I'll teach you how to use it effectively, and keep you quick on your feet. Yeah, I'll just... Oh, you must level up first. Okay. Um, I'm ready for the first set of contracts. Well then, let's get started. I've got three available right now. Your targets are the beggar Narfi, an ex-miller named Enodius Papias, and Baytilde, a mine boss. When you've completed all those, we'll see if I might have some more. Okay. Happy hunting. Do you have Will any more? Ever come you a do. Time when the people of Skyrim no longer need our services. I think not. He lives just outside Anga's mill in the woods. He was once the miller. Now Papias is just a paranoid recluse who thinks someone is out to get him. And he's right. Okay. Uh, tell me about uh, Nerfi. He's a hapless beggar living in some ruins just outside the village of Iverstead. Easy, even for you. Okay, and what about the other she guy? She separated from her husband well, lady. several months ago. All right. Now the two run competing mining operations. Baytild's angry and desperate, a fighter. Okay, what can you tell me about yourself? Ah, well, I'm Red right. Guard, as I'm sure you've noticed. Though not like most of my kind you'll find in Skyrim, that's for damn sure. I am a child of Hammerfell, born of the sands of the mighty Alakir. In that great desert, blood is a shade of crimson I can scarce describe. My past is long and storied, and not altogether proud. But the Dark Brotherhood saved me from myself. And I have never looked back. Hmm, I wonder how that... You've got people to kill, my friend. 
best get to it. Now, the question is, what is up with the the contracts? Like, are they people that are just like they're bad? Are are these people just wanting to be killed because they want to be killed? Don't take offense to the nicknames, Morsel. I'm a werewolf. Me Hard too. Not to think of you as a snack. <laughs> Could I turn a werewolf and talk to him? Uh, what can you tell me about yourself? I might ask the same of you, for you are more than mortal. You are moonborn. You are wolf. I am wolf. So you're a companion then. I can't imagine you got your gift anywhere else. I hope you have better luck with them than I did. Oh yes, I was once brother to the companions. Let's just say they found my methods unsettling. The Dark Brotherhood, obviously, feels differently. Hmm, okay. Until next time, brother. So he does know that I am also a werewolf. Hey, where did that little girl run off to? Don't let my appearance throw you off. I'm older than Ooh. you. A lot older. Getting bitten by a vampire when you're ten will do that to a girl. <laughs> uh, is that spider? It's been quite a boon, looking like a child. No one ever suspects a thing. Like a pet or something? Yeah, I never would have thought you were. My targets make huh. a mistake of not perceiving me as a threat. Last mistake they ever make. Yeah, definitely. Uh, what can you tell me about yourself? I'm just a little girl. The Dark Brotherhood killed my mama and papa, and then they took me captive. Please, please help me. <laughs> Rather convincing, don't you think? In truth, a little too I'm much. No more a little girl than you are. I was once, of course, three hundred years ago. Vampirism Holy tends to keep one crap. remarkably fresh. That's crazy. Take a look. All right. So, what do you have? Okay, you looks like you have poisons, potions, ingredients, books. Now, oh, recipes and lockpicks. We do not need any lockpicks. Until next time, brother. Actually, hold I can on. Brew some potions. So you're interested in my potions and ingredients? Wait, you only have 500 gold. Okay. Have fun. Have fun, she says. <laughs> have fun. I don't know if that's the right word to say is your mess hall uncommon taste that is like a really really good cookbook apparently because I'm seeing it everywhere we got some seats and they got the digs here oh he old man sleeping Let's just don't mind me. I'm just gonna crack into your safe. Steal your ten gold. We'll let him sleep here for a second. We're just gonna mosey around. Everybody else is sleeping, it looks like. Actually, now would be the best time to talk to him. Urgh. That axe is stuck through that. <laughs> Through that, um, set of drawers there. That's oh, it's too much of an obsession these days with knives and arrows. You could kill someone just as easily with a well-placed spell. Talk yep. to Babette about potions. She's the creepy little girl. Can't miss her. 100% creepy. Uh, what can you tell me about yourself? <laughs> I like to say I was born with a wand in my hand. Well, not literally. You could see how painful that would have been for Mother. But I was uh, a prodigy, yeah, quite a bit. casting simple spells by one, completing complex incantations by three, resurrecting corpses by seven. Ah! When I was 13, I accidentally burned down the family home. Whoops. Bit of lightning gone awry. Oh, but soon after, I mastered my gifts. Completely. I went on to Not teach at the like. college. Left after two years. Too simple. Too safe. None of them truly understood the glory 
of the destruction school. Okay, so can you teach me? Stay safe. Hey, go back to bed. We're gonna wake up the other two here. Welcome, my brother. Welcome to our sanctuary. You have made the right choice joining us, I assure you. Me? I've been part of the Dark Brotherhood from the day I first hatched. What? I am Shadow Scale, you see. Born under the sign of the Shadow. <laughs> uh, you gonna talk Greetings, to me? Brother. brother. There we go. What can you tell me about yourself? Once I was a Shadow Scale. An assassin in service to the King of Black Marsh, trained by the Dark Brotherhood since the day of my hatching. Ah, but that was a lifetime ago. Today, I am the last of my kind. My order is extinct. Oh. Now, I happily serve Astrid in this sanctuary. I am a trained killer, and once again have been given purpose. Life is good. Okay, so he had some other options there, and it kind of disappeared. Astrid. And this it's sanctuary, weird. life is simple and good. Okay, yeah, let's. New brother. Talk to her. May I offer my most sincere welcome to our family? Um. Yeah. Nice to meet you. I am an assassin without equal. I belong here. Let's try to remain silent. You certainly have a strange energy about you. I look forward to following your progress. What can you tell me about yourself? What a curious question. Well, I enjoy moonlit nights, taking long walks on the beach, knitting, and unicorns. Oh, nice. <laughs> In fact, I once took a seaside stroll on a moonlit night and discovered a unicorn, which I proceeded oh, really? to stab in the throat with a crochet needle. I'm a woman of refined yet simple tastes. That's simple, huh? Okay. May the shroud of death embrace you. So here's the five tenets, which I can't read. It's too hard to read. Oh. Well, hello, what do we got in here? Whoa, 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 look at this thing. It's a stained glass window. That's crazy looking. So how many of you guys have sided with the Brotherhood? I'm just kind of curious. Did you kill Astrid at the beginning? Or did you like join them and and do their bidding. Hey, look at that paper. I guess not. Yeah, I guess it not. Well, hold on. That up. No, there's nothing there. Whose bed is this? A stone bed. All right. This has seen better days. Sounds like something's leaking. Oh yeah, look at that. Little drips over there. Well, there's definitely a cave-in. That's why this is a room is a mess. Okay, um, I guess we have some... jobs to do. It is kind of creepy that that little girl is like 300 years old. Why, Suits, you slew everyone. Well, except that one that you kept alive to serve as a witness. Does your wickedness or your skill know no bounds? 
I am but a humble instrument of Sithis. Our dread father guides me. Therefore, failure is an impossibility. All right. Let's head out. Shadow scales are all but forgotten. Ancient tradition from another time. Let's see if she has anything else. I'm afraid I don't have a primary contract no. for you yet. What is that dagger in? Eh, I don't know the map I'm very well. I don't have a primary contract for you. Yet. That would be what? Not White Run. Would that be Winterhold or Windhelm? I mean. I'm afraid I don't Why is there a dagger there, I wonder? Okay, let's go and do our contracts here. Uh, you don't want to go in there. Well, actually, no, you probably would fit in. Yeah, may maybe? There's another vampire in there. And werewolf. So... We have some options, and I think what we're going to do now is I think we're going to go explore these ruins or whatever we're going to call them. Since there's two of them, and I'm thinking if there's two of them, maybe there's two shouts left and we can collect all the shouts. Question. Probably up there. The question is where? Um, okay, waterfall. Need to check behind waterfall. It's a must. Okay, nothing, nothing there. Darn. Let's uh, head up this way. Yeah, I, I kind of see something at the very top. Oh, we can go check out this hold. Yeah, let's go do that first. Sensor right here. Ooh. An entrance. Oh. Requires a key. Maybe we get a quest at some point in time, or maybe we gotta find someone. I'm guessing we're not gaining entrance from up here. Oh. Oh, there's another entrance here. Ooh. Whoa. Block that. Gotta run in there. Holy crap, we better heal. Jeez. We got someone not to mess around with here. Hold hold the phone. No, hold the phone. Hold the phone, I said. Um. Got him. Oh, oh, I got hurt too. <laughs> Sorry, Serana. Man. Jeez. You're tough. He's kicking my butt. Are you fine? I see something down there. Is that a troll? It's a troll. <laughs> Just bonk right on the head. All right. Let's go see what's going on up here. Apparently pretty powerful. Because he was 
Jeez, he was flinging magic. What was he guarding? Oh, it's, he was guarding his home. Where are you staying? Uh, looking for... Yeah, he doesn't have it either. No, I... I want to pick that up. No key. I was thinking there was going to be a key here. Why in the middle of fire? Can't grab it anyhow. Oh, goodness gracious. And no key... Okay. Just a weird old man with a Khajiit. Okay. Maybe at some point in time we come back here with a a quest. Looks like we're getting up close to One of the two. Yep. Hello. Here we go. Oh, I'm sorry. I already had it. <laughs> I already had it on. There we go. Someone's here. Whoa. We got a friend. Ancient vampire? Oh, goodness gracious. He's not taking, like, any damage. We good? Man. I... Vampires scare me. They just... They're so... They do so much damage. All right, we'll pull that here in a second. Frenzy and potent. Poison... this hi <laughs> okay well that might be a way up all right bud that I mean I don't know if that would kill us I don't think I can reach it and jump on at the same time so We'll just keep going this way. Oh. We haven't seen skellies in a long time. Take the bone meal off you. Wish you can cut those. Oh. Whoa. This place. Where'd you come from? Will you stop using that? You don't need to use that every single time. So if I... Oh. Oh, you definitely don't. What the? Knew I heard something. What the heck happened? Oh. 
Like, what is hitting me? Teach you. That's very interesting. You can't open this up. But if you were to go up there, you would get stabbed. Not fun. Okay, let's... Go check this up here. At one time, at some point in time, what I'd like to do is get a get v, uh, get a VR set and play this uh, while um, well, and play this I should say because they do have a Skyrim edition and I think that would be super super fun. Maybe even stream it, but we'll we'll wait. We'll see. If I get enough support, maybe I will uh, be able to do something like that. I think that would be really freaking cool to, to try out. Whoa, oh God. They put all their boots in here. Dragon plate boots. College boots. Ragged boots, shoes. Fur-lined, merchant, miners, beekeepers, bladed. Okay. Holy. Where'd you come from? Come on. Oh crap, we've got. I knew I heard something. We have three to pull. That'll teach you. Oh. Whoa. Some elven armor. Serana, thank you. Okay, that opened that. It looks like a door, doesn't it? It is. Alright, let's check this out first. A steel helmet and iron helmets. Excuse me. Excuse me. So not opening that at all. Is there a secret... Pull chain or something? I see some more pull chains up here, so maybe these are going to be it. Don't. Alright, let's see if we can open this. I don't see a trap set. I, it looks like this would be trapped. Okay, we have three. Don't see any traps. Yep. Fantastic. Yeah, that opens that back up. That opened that. Okay, what does the right one do? Oh, close the way out. Okay. We'll leave that so we can get back and we're going to go head this way. Oh, <laughs> I saw that shadow. It scared me. I thought someone was going to jump on me. Jeez. Are we coming back out to the 
main room. Okay, don't step on that. Yep. Can't go that way. Hold on. That's the way we came out. And this place looks sweet. I like the architecture, the way that everything looks. Did a really good job on this. That kind of looked like an arrow at first. Hello, Vampire Thrall. What do you have here? A ruby. What were you sitting here waiting for? That's horrifying. So they're torturing people. Oh. Oh, look at this. It's sort of ice, silver, helmet, empty boots. I don't think these are special. Or leave them behind. Whoa! Is that my graphics card or the game? That was not the that was not my graphics card. That was really trippy. Hello? Got more skellies. So it seems like we're working our way up the building. We're just down there. Now we're going the there. We got a bunch of burned to death people. So I'm guessing you have to make it through this. To get, <laughs> and I'm guessing the gate shuts. Doesn't it? didn't do anything. Well, maybe it did. It just took a second. Hello. Holy. All right. We, we got someone that wants to play. Uh, he's doing lightning too, isn't he?
You're mine. Mortal. Immortal. <laughs> Immortal. Oh, he's wearing anything special now. Ooh. We're good. We're good. Take the potion. Since we used one. So we have a left and a right. Probably go to the same place, maybe? Hopefully. I think so, yeah. goes up all right we'll go up there in just a second let me just double check all these well uh, all these urns yeah that was the last one let's go up i have a feeling this goes with that other that other mark that we had maybe not oh Hello, friend. Who's there? Sweet. We have one more to unlock. Aurora Whisper. Yeah. What is this going to trigger? I didn't do anything. Okay. What about the other one? Anything? Nothing? Okay, yeah, can't go behind there. Alright, I guess we're heading out. Oh, the overlook. Whoa, whoa. Hello. Yeah, this is what we saw. Wheat. But I don't think that was the other one, was it? No. It's in that direction. You know what we're going to do? Five, six, go! We're going to quick save. Can we make it over oh. there? Oh, we made it. We made it, all right. Wait for this to... Oh, she just comes strolling down like, what are you doing? <laughs> like, oh, what do you... Why'd you jump down for? You Is there anything in here? Let's go explore this. Wait. What were you doing? <laughs> and why are you running away? Come here. You're gonna bring me to the spider? Is that what you're trying to do? Is that your friend? I'm actually kind of curious. Is this the other shout? Location? Maybe not. Maybe there's nothing to go in? Uh, I don't know. There seems like a little location up there. Yeah, we can go up higher. Yeah, 
Yeah, we can. We can go in this. Well, that's the same... This is the same place. Were we, was there another way we could have gone? Well, let's check it out. Oh. Oh. Whoa. Oh, boy. I did not see that at all. Well played. Well played. Okay, so it is the same place. Very cool. I like that. That was a that was a cool little dungeon. Um, yeah, we we got our contracts. I think that's what we're going to be doing in the next episode. Um, I think we're going to go try talking them first and just see what happens before we do anything. Um, and we'll go from there. Guys, thank you so much for hanging out with me today. If you guys like this video, make sure you guys hit that like button. Don't forget to hit that subscribe, hit that bell notification. So you're notified when the next episode comes out or live stream comes out. Uh, you'll be notified when I do go live, um, which hopefully will be soon uh thank you to all my patreon subscribers you guys are absolutely amazing um actually i forgot to shout out um uh, one of my patrons i am i am really 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 sorry uh let me pull that up right now we'll i'll i'll shout you out tomorrow as well in tomorrow's uh episode Kim Wilson, thank you, thank you so much. You are the uh, the newest member of the uh, Patreon subscribers. Thank you. Uh, don't forget, you do have a VIP room in the Discord. You can head over there and join the other um, the other individuals in other other patrons on Discord. If you have Discord, um, you you have direct access to me in there uh, as well as the other VIPs. Um, also, don't forget about my Amazon affiliate link. If you do go and do any shopping on Amazon, don't forget to use that. That helps the channel. Uh, if you don't feel like you want to join or can't join the affiliate or the Amazon or sorry, the Patreon, um, it's a way that you can give me a little bit of a commission. It doesn't cost you anything at all. So uh, just use that link bookmark it as your Amazon link and when you use it I get a tiny tiny commission which everything adds up right and uh, it helps me pay for um, you know everything that goes into creating these these YouTube series as well as allowing me to um, do this full time so I appreciate it thank you guys so much have an amazing day and we'll see you guys next time